I met Reverend Clay Evans at the age of seven in 1956 when my mother, the late Daisy May Cook, took my sisters and I to Fellowship Mission here, Mary Baptist Church. Let me tell you, the Lord will give you the desires of your heart. When I was young, I wanted Reverend to know my name. When he saw me in the children's church, he would call me by my last name, which is my maiden name, Cook. Fast forward to 1987, Reverend had a position for a church secretary, and I applied for the position. Later, I had a dream that I was going to become the church secretary, and in my dream, the walls were the color blue, but when I got in the office, the walls were pink. <laughs> Three months later, Deacon Ernest Shaw started painting the walls blue. I scream. Deke asked Celeste, what's wrong with you? I explained to him my dream. Reverend one day was calling out a name in the office, and Mrs. Banks said, Celeste, who is Reverend calling? I replied, he has been calling some man for about an hour named Les. Back Back then, Reverend could hear. He called me on a station to come into his office, holding a piece of paper. He asked me what was my first name, and I said Celestine. Reverend said, drop the C-E in your name, and I did. <laughs> It spelled Lesting. <laughs> then he said, drop the N, the T-I-N-E. That leaves less. I looked at Reverend and said, wow, Reverend, you've been calling me. <laughs> and we both chuckled. Later in 1996, I became Reverend Dr. Clay Evans' personal administrative secretary, named Les. <laughs> Reverend would wear a suit and tie every day, and you knew when he walked into the office, or any room for that matter, he was smelling good. <laughs> Someone was supplying him with that particular fragrance. He was a first-class stellar gentleman a unique person, and many, many tried to emulate him. Every morning, Reverend would go to the prayer room located in the front lobby of the church and kneeled at the altar. I heard him pray for his wife and children. He prayed for his brothers and sisters. He prayed for the Evans families. He prayed for the staff. He prayed for the city of Chicago leaders, and he prayed for the entire Fellowship Church family. Reverend retired as pastor of Fellowship in December 2000 at the age of 75 years old. Reverend wanted the church to continue to grow. It did, under the leadership of Reverend Charles Jenkins. I want to end with the fruit of the Spirit, kindness, Reverend exemplified kindness, love, Reverend loved everybody, especially the children and the youth. They were his future. He loved his baby, the ship. Long suffering, whoa, that's what he was. Joy. He had great joy teaching the word from the Bible and preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Peace. He always said there's no big eyes and little youths. He was always about keeping things decent and in order. Patience. He knew my potentials and that I had his spirit. Reverend had the spirit of wisdom and understanding. Galatians 5.22 
My three minutes is actually up, and I'm not standing like I got it on this paper. <laughs> but Pastor Jekis, please don't, just give me a few more seconds to remember my first pastor, father in the ministry, employer, and my best friend. I thank God for it was an honor and privilege to serve Reverend Dr. Claire Evans, a renowned man of God for over 30 years. You see, I got the desires of my heart. He knew my name. For it is no secret what God can do. 